Hey guys, this is Lisa at Lock Stitch Fabrics. I'm just doing a little follow-up video to yesterday's vlog. I'm going to show you how I've attached the silk voile to the rayon poplin um, to create a sort of um, one fabric out of two. Uh, so this is called the interlining um, technique. Basically all I've done is I've done a really simple basting stitch all the way around the edge. Um, I'll show you on the video, but I only have one hand. <laughs> I wish I had a better uh, filming equipment to do this with, but that's coming along. Anyways, so you can see I've just done super basic stitches all the way around the edge, and that's basically it. And you can see as I hang it, it drapes a lot differently. It's a lot, um, it has more body now. Um, I'll show you just the single rayon. See how much more flowy and bouncy that is? So it's going to dramatically change the shape of the skirt. I'm really excited to see how this is going to work out. And uh, yeah, I've done it in a contrasting thread so that you guys can see it on the video, but normally you'd use um, a matching thread, but it doesn't matter because you're doing it within the seam allowance. Like if you have the seam allowance at uh, one and a half centimeters, then you'd do it maybe like a centimeter from the edge. Um, and then when you sew your seams, it's up to you if you want to rip it out or just leave it. Um, Depends on how you finish your seams, I suppose. And that's that. Um, one thing I did notice about this silk voile, I thought that it was the same on both sides, but after I've washed it and pressed it, um, I have found that it does have a shinier side. So that's something to keep in mind for um, if you use it as a lining versus interlining. Um, I've flipped it so that the shiny side will be rubbing against my leg because it's slightly softer. Uh, but because it's an interlining, it doesn't really matter if I were to line the skirt. Um, if you were to use this as lining, then you would treat it the way you would um, like the outer fabric, but the other way. So the good side against your legs. Um, I've done that even though um, it doesn't really matter for the interlining, but because I'm not lining the skirt, I want it to be soft against my leg. The other side is soft, but this side's softer. So uh, speaking of laundering the fabric, both have been washed and dried on delicate cycles in the machine. Uh, the washing machine and the dryer. <clears throat> I was going to hang it to dry, but who has time for that these days, right? It's also really dusty outside. Still, also, um, silk does have a tendency to um, bleach in the sun faster. Um, and because it's black, you know. Also, I wanted to sew it today, and it's faster, so there you go. Anyway, so it turned out really, really nice. The rayon uh, barely needed to be pressed at all. Um, I was actually uh, pleasantly surprised at that. The silk, because of the 40% cotton, um, I had it at a slightly higher setting than I normally would with silk to get as many wrinkles as I could. And you do press as you go. So you know what, if you're pre-ironing uh, pre your fabric before you start sewing and you can't get all the wrinkles perfectly out, I wouldn't worry about it too, too much so long as it's nice and flat so that when you cut out the pattern piece, it doesn't cut out all wonky, right? So that's that. I'm going to do this other piece that I've got two other pieces to do. I'm also using um, the silk voil for um, interfacing in the, uh, the waistband instead of regular interfacing because A, it's available to me right now and um, it's basically the same weight as my sewing interfacing anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and use it for that. I had uh, scraps left over and waste not whatnot, not so that's what I'm going to do. And it'll be the same technique to attach the uh, silk to the rayon um, as an interfacing. So that's the skirt so far. I really, really like how it drapes. I can't wait to show you guys when it's all put together. Bye!